Peace and blessings, family. Sister Ajali. Um, uh, this is a share to oh, help uh, anyone who's capable of listening. I don't want to descend into, uh, it's not petty. It's not petty. It is reformative to use, uh, you know, just a uh, little jibes that we will use. It is a societal method of keeping those who don't think too well in line because sometimes shame is the only method to keep those who really are in the habit of not thinking very deeply about their long-term actions and how intrinsic what even a regular individual will do is to the entire community around them. And so oftentimes you, I like when I was young, I remember that, you know, I didn't want to, before I understood fully the dynamics of black and white and how magnificent it is to be black. I always knew it was magnificent to be black, but I'm just saying before I fully you know, attach myself to that emotion where I grew up in a house where my dad was playing Malcolm X lectures on a regular um, before I fully realized, wait a minute, <laughs> I don't want to have a non-black child. Um, I used to believe the integration myths and lies that they put out there nonstop. And, but I thought, you know, because it was this white boy at school, who liked me and he wanted to date me. And I just was like, uh, no. And it wasn't um, for any other deeper reason at that point in my life than, are you kidding me? You think I'm going to walk through my black neighborhood with you? <laughs> oh, hell no. Um, later on, and I've said it, and it's going I'm coming up to 40 years in the past, um, I tarried in snow country. And as soon as I contemplated the long-term outcome of that, I was like, oh, the hell no, that was the sanest. And I wasn't even capable of understanding the macro society as deeply as I do now. And I've got more to learn, more to learn. But I'm just saying that was one of the best moments of my life. It was literally an epiphany where I fell down on my knees. I've never done this ever again in my life, but it was so overwhelming. The wake up that I love being black, that I fell down to my knees and I cried. I cried. Okay. Most folks, most swirling folks aren't going to be able to put all of that together because the propaganda to integrate that that's what nice people do is they integrate nice I just fell in love I couldn't help myself no when you ponder it before you fall in love you're already in love with a concept of what is beneficial to you ain't nobody gonna fall in love accidentally to someone that they don't deem as an addition to something inside of themselves that they need. Even if some people will get hooked up with really dangerous folks for bad reasons, but there was initially something inside of them that said, oh, I need a man who's gonna discipline me with a baseball bat. Usually, you know, they come at you with all these compliments before they bring out the baseball bat. And please leave before the bat shows up. But that said, uh, this gentleman, DJ Steven Twitch Boss, uh, he committed suicide. Surrounded by Becky. I mean, he was the DJ for Ellen DeGeneres, so you know he was just deep in snow country. Uh, because to be in the midst of those people, you have to think in a way that placates them. You have to at least be perceived as a bow down Negro, someone who's gonna, you know, even if you're not, you know, militantly uh, procyon loter, at the same time, you have to be the accommodating Negro 
You have to handle Becky's insecurities. Now, are there stable white women out there? Of course there are. Um, but overall, societally wise, these folks have stolen everything and they use more psychotropic medications than any other race of people on the planet. They use more psychotropic medications here in the unentitled snakes than they even do in Europe. That's because for them, the guilt, not only the, you know, uh, not so connected melanin issues they have, uh, but the guilt is epigenetic for what they've done. So they find every single manner subconsciously to justify their just subconscious addiction to being the bell of the ball. That is ripe for every type of insecurity. And you're going to be up close trying to keep her together. Because when a white person gets hooked up with a non-white person, it's because they're a failure at being white. It's because they have issues to begin with. It's not because they're like, they finally woken up. That would go against the natural order of all species protecting themselves. It's instinctual to protect yourself. As a black person, you have to nullify, calm down the fears of black you in terms of your easy smiles and your politics. Oh my goodness, those have to be completely non-threatening to them. God forbid you have a moment of clarity. You cannot ever really in that circumstance see your blackness as anything but an accessory. Uh, that is inconsequential, right? And so this was his wife. I don't know her name and I don't, I, I, I'm, my condolences to her, okay? Uh, but at the same time, I'm like, no, you were not the woman for this man. He, I don't think of him as a brother because he's bl bred himself out of existence, right? I'm quite sure with that type of narrative just on rewind, autoplay in his head, his children are whiter than white people. And they're never, ever, because he was so bowed down. What else were they being taught uh, besides these people are the bee's knees of everything? And so my condolences, because suicide is a terrible, terrible thing. I don't want even swirlers to make that choice. I prefer they sit back and think of the long-term trajectory of what they are deeming the best solution uh, for what ails us is running to the people who caused the problems in the first place and acting as if they're better and that black people are the worst people on the planet. I think to myself, because what I've been reading about this young man is that uh, he kept all of his deeper considerations to himself and quiet as is kept on purpose uh, we're waking up as a people vastly vastly and so this wake up is something that as a procyon loter you must refuse to have any light you have to become the white man in your head who every single time there's anything that remotely is self black loving you have to beat it out and what if you can't what if you get tired because that is your nature to love what you were made to be and you are eradicating it with them 100 percent right what if you can't oh my goodness gracious it is beautiful being married to a black man um my king uh, it just put in a factor of this uh, that needs to be uh, put on the record, which is he also, this gentleman, might have uh, been using their psychotropic medications himself. And these 
palliatives that they put out there for all of theirs talk it further into suicide so that it seems like a rational choice, like you're you're making a move or something that is beneficial. Um, and that's another factor in believing these people have some sort of solution for the fact that it's their society that is thoroughly out of balance. But at the same time, maybe you still are just beholden to their entire idea of what success is. And you know, if you suddenly snap out of it and say, wow, uh, I want to say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud, but everything you've earned is attached to creating this false sense of who you are. I'm not saying whether this is this person or not, was this person or not. But I'm just saying he didn't say a word to his owner, okay, his wife. Uh, uh, she, he just looked fine and he just suddenly didn't answer any calls. And there's also the other factor. Was it a ritual murder? You know, maybe that's also a possibility. But I'm just going with the suicide thing, okay? Because um, <clears throat> I know they will suicide us. And on the regular, and he said he got, she said he got a call and then he was out the door. So he could have been, especially hanging out with these white folks and famous ones at that. I mean, talk about being brainwashed, putting yourself right there in the middle of uh, MK Ultra Haven. Right. Because I remember there was one Nikita. I can't remember the name of the YouTuber who one day he just was real weird and he was hanging out with Satanists. And then next thing you know, he jumped off the Manhattan Bridge. Okay. Um, so I'm not saying that we don't make bad choices, even if we're, you know, the, the more you love your natural self and that's going to be pro-black, uh, the less... You are prone uh, to the depressions, the self-doubts that come from worshiping the society because you just you attach your self-esteem to their concepts of success. And so that if you are not financially at a certain level that they deem worthy of notice, uh, then you feel what you're a failure? Come on, stop, right? <laughs> if you don't own a house by the time you're 45, you must be a loser or something. When no, you could be studying the marketplace, the deep economics, so that you understand in this economy, this war economy, you want to be able to just jump and run, right? Because these folks are about to pull a rug out of underneath everybody's feet, right? So you you don't want to be stuck with a big behemoth house that can't be moved. <laughs> but you got to move. So you may have to just pop up with your little go bag and everything that you've invested in, watch it, just walk away from it. That's going to be hard. That's real painful. You want to be able to travel light without not only a whole bunch of stuff, that you've acquired, but a whole bunch of just regrets, right? So if you've got these people's ideas of what is worthy of note, it can, I mean, it can be really depressing if you don't recognize it's actually saner to step away from all of that, right? Forget about waiting till the last minute when, you know, like, they're planning on starvation for everybody. I'm just saying whether they do that or not. Isn't it good if you could even just learn how to grow your own food? Well, isn't it good if you could learn how not to use things as a measure of your achievements in life, but to use the beauty of your own soul, right? So I'm, I'm just, you know, again, I don't want to encourage anybody at all. This is not a good choice. 
Right. But sometimes we, we know all kinds of people, even in our own family and our own blood who are and more than likely that's the case because most people are stuffed with whiteism where they don't even know. And they could be even thinking they're pro black, but they'll hear about, you know, the one black person who became a nuclear engineer or nuclear physicist. You know, the one black person or a 12-year-old black child who went to Harvard. I'm like, when I hear about something like that, I'm, I almost feel like we should be holding a memorial or something. I'm not saying I w- I'm wishing anything bad on such a person. I'm glad for their ability to, uh, you know, like, excess their own intelligence in some regard. But you going to Harvard, that's, it's all going to be for them. It's all going to be for the white people. Ain't going to, nothing's going to come from that for black us. Okay. So for him to be stuck up there with Becky and also with sexually deviant Becky in Ellen DeGeneres, this dude was so committed to being out of his black mind and when you when you're living the life, you know when you see the veneer, it, 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 and it's, and you aren't experiencing that world, it can come with all the stereotypes uh, that you could ever want. But when you're actually living it day to day, that's a whole nother level of consideration. And so that he would have been just seeing Becky super up close, and at a certain age. Yeah, I'm just saying that they, 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 them wrinkles start popping up. Things start popping up. You start, and God forbid, if you are out here trying to act like, no, I'm a pro-black man. No, I'm a pro-black woman. And, and you're reading comments coming from those of us who are waking up by the millions. You're in trouble. You've got no excuses. And you've got no nation to run to because Becky's nation wants you bowed down. Right? That's a very, very difficult, real life, up close consideration. And so this dance they did that was posted on TMZ or I don't know where, but I'm just saying it was done days before he committed suicide. He went to a motel room and the next day he was dead. Right. I can't play it, uh, but I'm looking at this and we know we know. I, this is, you know, just on uh, Daily Mail, but I'm like, this is their natural way. Look at these white people dancing. Oh, my God. It's just, they have to work overtime to step away from their inability to synchronize harmoniously with the beat. Because their melanin is not an electrical conductive force like ours is, okay? I'm not, that's just the science of it. That's not bashing anybody, right? And they kind of know that. And so for this dude to be up here, and again, we know that even though he looks real smug and I can't show you them dancing together, uh, but she did a really, uh, like rehearsed performance. And my King said that, you know, reminds him of like early TLC. Uh, But the thing is, is that it's not coming from the force, the pop of that melanin. Whereas you can see his expression right there. That's the way that we are. When we're moving and we're flowing, we're just like, it's all one seamless motion. That's not with her. She's like looking and over here and she's like, look, I got it. She's like a little five-year-old girl. Did I get it, daddy? Did I get it? How long? I don't know how long, but I'm just saying this didn't come because it's natural to her. Chick had to rehearse that like nobody's business. And she rehearsed it with her black husband trying to prove to him that, look, I'm just as good as the black woman. Right? And... Obviously not. Obviously not. Because he didn't feel comfortable enough, confident enough to tell you he was in agony. Damn. Damn. Again, 
I don't wish anybody any harm. I'm just saying we're two separate people, almost two separate species. Okay? All right. Whew. My condolences to the family. And they may, whether they find this video or not, I don't care. But luckily, YouTube is hitting me so much. So there you go. Hey, but don't you hide me. Share my videos with your family, your black family, as far and wide, because I bring that data. Okay? All right. I'll say no more. Peace and blessings. Straight. Black. Family. Pride. That's man. Black man. Black woman. Peace.